doing a gin for the first time on my channel. In case you're seeing me for the first time, what's up, dude? My name is Kamar Anand. I live in New Delhi, New Delhi. I live in New Delhi, and um, I'm gonna do a review of gin, and I'm gonna be having something called called uh, Sepoy and Company mixers, and this one is called Mint Tonic Water. Yeah, dude, fancy, fancy. And I have a Carlsberg tall glass, and I have a bunch of ice. So let's get this started with, so I'm just getting into this entire gin space and it's pretty exciting actually. I'm just going by what people talk about because, you know, I don't know much about gin so I'm just going by what people say. Have I tried Hendrix before? Hell yeah! I probably tried every gin out there. But uh, never paid it much attention because I don't understand the various differences and the nuances of what makes it be. Now this bottle is for 3,950 rupees. This was surprisingly the last remaining bottle at the place I got it. Now, I don't know if I should do it. It's set. I put some ice. I've got my drink measurer. I'm going to be making a 60 ml because I really want to feel this. Now, um, have I tried other gins? Sure. I've tried a bunch of them, but gin is not something which gets me immediately because I'm not used to it, of course. So I have some and then I wait wait a while. Oh wow, that looks like I poured a lot. But that could be because of ice. We'll find out. Maybe I'm a little effed now. Now, how much does this cost? I don't know, somebody was nice enough to come over and bring a few bottles. But I would imagine it costs about 50 bucks, right? It's basically tonic water. Okay, so, wow, smells, smells, smells like pudina. All right, dude. So there you have it. And now let me see if I can find. By the way, this is a dirty spoon, okay? The spoon has been here for a while. What do I say, man? I don't think the spoon has ever killed anyone. All right, let me just go ahead and mix this now. Okay, there's so much ice that I'm not able to mix it properly. Yikes. The last thing I want to do is spill this. Anyways. And now I'm just going to wait for 5 minutes and I'll be right back. That's my thing. I like to wait for 5 minutes when I prepare my drink. Even with whiskey, ice and water, I always like to wait 5 minutes. Be right back guys. Stay right there. Six minutes are over. It's time to get in with the drink. You're watching a Hendrix review in case you were sleeping all this while. This is a gin. Where is the gin from? It has 41.4% volume and uh, it's a 700 ml bottle from Scotland and in Delhi it is imported and distributed by Elite Spirits. Consumption of alcohol is injurious. It is not for everyone. Please enjoy the uh, whatever the... It's just alcohol man. It's just booze. It's all the same. Maybe not. Cheers dude. This is my first gin drink in a minute. Boy! Dude, that's really strong. Let me get some water. Since we're on the subject of gin, uh, I have another bottle of gin here. This is called Terai Indian Dry Gin. And it's a sealed bottle. I don't intend to unbox it today or unbottle it today. But uh, by the way, I've topped it up with water. And this is another new gin which has come in the Indian market. This is called Greater Than Gin. Now I have tried this and I didn't quite love it. But just for comparison with Hendrik's sake, I'm going to make me a small drink. Okay. Smells just like gin. Smells pretty decent to be fair. But this gin, the reason I'm reviewing this is because I'm all about the economy of things. And this is 1,020 rupees. So let's see how bad it is or how good it is. So... As you can see, on one hand we have your regular, uh, you know, not regular, but Hendrix gin, which is a pretty standard gin from whatever I know. Like, it's supposed to hit the spot and that kind of a thing. And um, on the other hand we have, okay, so just to keep it fair, I'm going to pour the same mint into this, okay, right, and probably be a little cheapy and add some water. Okay, now we have topped both things up. This drink is good to go. This is your 
how do you say it hendrix so we have hendrix for 3950 and then we have london than sorry greater than i'm so excited guys greater than london dry gin very beautiful looking bottle very beautiful font but is it worth it or is it shit so we have both these for comparison we not going to do the indian dry gin that i compared and this one is also 1800 bucks so is price everything or are you being fooled let's find out so the bigger of the two glasses is the indian gin and this is a scotch gin called hendrix let's take a sip add us some water it goes down pretty smooth uh, now the thing about gin which is unique is that unlike whiskey it doesn't give you that whiskey kind of a feel it gives you very summery nice essence kind of feel as if you're having something which is though alcohol it's okay to have it's not the worst thing in the world okay and i like that easy going nature of hendrix i have definitely tasted this in many a cocktail in my life and uh, it's standard it goes down pretty easy it's smooth and nice and sexy if you like gin that is if you're having five or seven of gins you will definitely get into the rhythm so if you're in the sun definitely recommend gin over having some whiskey now we're going to try the greater than london is called greater than london dry indian gin right i think it's indian i know it's indian uh, because uh, a friend of mine has a friend who has a friend and they own it cheers okay so first thing first there is more volume of gin inside hendrix gin what i mean by volume like you feel like you're having a gin whereas this is a very flat like uh, i often talk about circles in my whiskey reviews like which whiskey has a complete circle this probably has a complete circle in terms of having a good taste in your mouth it has a good high it has a rounded feature i've had it two three times so i know this much about it whereas this one is more flat so if your first drink is this then you continue having this i don't know let me take another sip yeah it's it's kind of flattish um but not bad but it really is very flat and kind of cheap to taste i'll just have some water how does gin taste i don't know man you need, you need to try it it does taste unique though not at all like whiskey um uh, i would say 40% like vodka but not quite okay hendrix definitely tastes much better than greater than london dry gin but does the cost um you know of this being 1000 bucks and this being 4000 bucks does it justify itself that's a very difficult argument for me to make because uh, technically um you know actually is it that difficult an argument let me think about it so guys uh um, back to the hendrix review i think the thing about gin and me is that even though this is my first drink um i'm not feeling much because it doesn't hit you like whiskey hits you and i think familiar familiarity is one of the reasons that is there because i'm so familiar with the high of whiskey that i already get a psychological high after having the first or second drink whereas gin is a little more mellow down a little more uh driven in a as a drink because you can have gin and attempt to do many things while you're uh partying whereas whiskey has i think whiskey just has more of a boom like it just messes you up more with gin i think it's amazing for conversations amazing for days underneath the sun if you're in the sun you want to get a plastic glass or a glass like this with a lot of ice a tall glass is recommended a tall thin glass this is my carlsberg glass cheers how does the hendrix taste compared to greater than london dry gin i think the hendrix uh, is definitely more premium it has two or three more elements in its uh, smoothness which the greater than london dry gin definitely lacks 
it's like if you keep Hendrix out for like two three months and then you pack it in a bottle that's probably what greater than London dry gin tastes like it's very fizzled out it's not the same elements really but maybe I'm new to gin and I'm not able to appreciate the nuances or nuances what happens is that basically like you know for example if you're having um, how do you say it man whiskey right Supposing I'm having a teacher's and then if I'm having, I don't know, what's a great whiskey, a Dwayne Moranji, and then let's say I'm having 100 Pipers, right? If I'm having 100 Pipers versus having a Glen Moranji, when I taste the Glen Moranji and my drink is over, there's going to be a lingering appeal of Glen Moranji, which will not be there if I'm having the, the, the 100 Pipers. Also, the taste will be more defined and the high you experience, I think, because of all of the other factors is better in more expensive stuff as somebody who tastes so much alcohol in his life and has had the privilege to I would say Hendrix gin is the way to go definitely it costs 4000 rupees but if you're new to gin I would definitely recommend you start with this and if you want to start with even an even better gin I would definitely recommend Roku Roku is even better than Hendrix even though I had just one drink of Roku or half a drink of Roku I just tasted Roku and I was like wow Roku is by those guys who made Hibiki and uh, the other Suntory it's by Suntory uh, the same clan so Roku is definitely better than Hendrix am I enjoying gin? sure dude it's getting me high what else is there in life to do man it's, it's kind of enjoyable man not gonna lie wait now that I'm enjoying Hendrix right let me just act like I'm having Hendrix again Yeah, man, I'm sorry. This is definitely not as it doesn't get you that high. The London then. Uh, I appreciate you, London then. London Dry, greater than London Dry Gin. Funny name, man, but I love it. I love the entire, you know, font that is happening right here. I, I like that these guys have really tried. Like, it looks so kick ass. And it costs just a thousand bucks. So if you're having a party and you keep this, no one's going to call you words, man. They're not going to call you name. If you keep Hendrix, they're definitely going to be happy. And this Terai thing also looks legitimate, man. I would go as far as saying that this looks like a better bottle than this to me. So don't get fooled by looks. This is very flat, man. If you are looking for a quick high, uh, gin is pretty expensive, by the way. Like, I'll... I'll put a video of me looking at gin right now. Boom. This is the cheapest gin they have. It's for 3850. Roku gin. Rest, they have Dutch courage, dry gin. But I think this is for 7190. And then they have Citadel. You know, which is again for 7200 bucks, I think. Um, they also have something called bath tub gin, but I, I don't trust a gin called bath tub and this is more expensive. And then something called Heyman's is also here. And this bottle is it's for 57.35. Of course, I've heard of Roku only, so I'll probably just take this and this is the rest of the stuff. They have these beers and all that. So yeah, man, as you can see, gin is a very varied interest. Um, I'm still getting into the space. What do you guys think about this review? This is greater than London Dry Gin. Frankly, it's, it's not very edible. It's not very tasteful for the palate, but that's the cheapest gin I could find, man. And this is your Hendrix. So, because I'm new to gin, it's not really hitting the spot. And this is my problem with gin right now. It doesn't hit the spot like whiskey does. And beer is the barb of hitting all spots, if you know what I mean. Um, thank you for watching this. It was a bit of a random review. Tell me what, tell me what your feedback is. Um, out of uh, this bottle, I think it's ideal if you're having a party. Do guys drink gin and do guys go uh, get important after that? Man, I am I have a son, so I'm sure as hell I'm not firing any blanks, you know. And uh, But I definitely want to have more kids, man. So I don't want to go important, dude, and all that kind of thing. I don't think that's going to happen, frankly. 
but they do say that it decreases the semen count or it makes it gives you ED. Dude, doesn't all alcohol do that? Hello? I don't know, man. Whether it's a case of having less semen count in your... Oh my God. Why am I going into this direction? But hey, since I'm at it, I've heard that gin makes you important. But I think it probably means that... I used to think it means that you cannot have a kid if you have gin. So it probably reduces your semen count and many people have chimed this also. Having said that, I think I'm a healthy young lad, you know. So I have nothing to worry about. Um, I say young. I know many of you are like 15 years younger than me, but that's not my fault. Fuck you. You know, anyways, this was a review for Hendrix on a scale of 1 to 10. Um, and the fact that it costs 4000 bucks, how much do I give it for a high and all that? Probably an 8. And I say an 8 because I'm on my first drink. Normally, my reviews are where I go up to the 4th and sometimes even the 7th drink. But I'm going to end this one right here because I want to keep it civil without any charade and all that kind of thing. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great Augie and a good Seppi. And I'll see you when I do. Peace out! Hi guys, um, I got three bottles of gin. First thing I got was greater than London Dry Gin. I think this is an Indian brand. And this cost 1,020 rupees. Very good logo. Um, someone said their friend owns this brand. I will find more information when I review this. The second thing I got is something called Terai. Indian dry gin this was for 1020 sorry 1800 1020 is greater than gin and the third gin I got is something which is very famous I've obviously had it before it's good this is called Hendrix Hendrix gin uh, this is a um, I don't know how big this bottle is I think it's approximately 700 milliliter for 3850 I think let me confirm just give me a moment a bit sloppy right now 3950 so in all i spent about 6770 for these three bottles